Hi, I'm Adrian Harland. I'm going on my second trip to Zambia this year. I went last year as a media student. That's part of a project with you, Clan, and Sports in Action. Uh, but this year, the difference is I'm going as a team leader. Uh, so basically, today I was teaching the students that are coming out with me this year uh, some of the games that we learned last year, uh, and we also. The, such as you saw from the What Time Is It Mr Wolf game, that's a game that we from UCLan bring out to them. So then we learn some games from them that we can teach our students for future years to go out. I think it's a crucial thing that we learn the games that we're going to take part in in Zambia before we go to Zambia, just so when we get there, because you're already going to be swamped by the heat, the amount of children that are coming out to greet you and just the overall atmosphere of the day. So it's something you don't experience day to day. But I think it's important that we to know the games beforehand so when we go out there and everyone's just getting into it and getting into the games we're not just stood around looking trying to learn the games we can actually take part and therefore build a better atmosphere and relationship with the students and the teachers before we even really get underway in any of the teachings itself it's just so we can fit in better and be a part of the community more. The games that we that I taught the students today they are basically the main one that we go when we're out there so when we go there on the first day to the schools the kids will be massive circle with the teachers and the teachers will just be reciting it so again it's so we can just fit into the rhythm of it and basically most schools you go to when you want to get the children's attention you just pull out one of these games and then it'll stop them from uh, running around or if they're just not in the circle or you're trying to get their attention to start off the games and sessions then it's basically a good way to get them into the swing of things. I think it's hard to say that all the games that we do in Zambia are going to be the same as in Africa as a whole because obviously in Zambia there's 72 different spoken languages uh, just on their own as because of how the tribes have integrated with the communities. So, and there are games that you can play with the children that aren't require of them or scenes such as Swamp for Stick and the Sand and you've got to just push the sand away and the first one to make the stick fall to loses and it's a pebble game and obviously they play football and basketball so it's hard to say what are the games people will play over there or if they are similar but I think most of the key community ones will use singing and dancing because again it brings community together.